Hey guys, it's your girl Shalicia coming back. Happy 2019. This is like the final haul y'all will see from me for like basically 2019. Unless I need to re up on something, which I doubt that will have to happen because I got a lot of things. The most I'll have to re up on, the, to be honest, might be brow pencil. <coughs> but even then, that's kind of up in the air. So I wanted to share with you my like Shoppers Drug Mart and my Sephora haul. These are things I've been like legit collecting for the last four-ish months. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And some of the things I couldn't really share because I bought one item. I was like, I'm not going to come film for one item. That's weird. Unless you want me to do something like that if I was doing a first impression. Let me know in the comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. But first, I'm going to start with some fragrances. So I picked up the Versace Pour Femme Dylan Blue Eau de Parfum. It honestly comes in the most prettiest packaging ever. Like, look at it. I've never owned a Versace fragrance. I almost dropped the other fragrance. Don't mind me. But look how pretty it is. Like... Bam, bam, bam. But with this, when I made my purchase for this fragrance, I went and saw my homegirl at my regular shoppers that I like to shop at and whatnot. And she gave me so many fragrance samples. She threw that fragrance sample in, so it's like a deluxe size. So I'm not going to have to crack into that bottle anytime soon yet. And then I also picked up the Giorgio Armani C. Passion right and you know i had mentioned it in a favorites video because i had the deluxe size and this was like the holiday gift set and it came comes with the the 3.4 oops sorry the 3.4 fluid ounce like the 100 mil and the 15 mil and it has a cute key change i would have gotten the gift set for the versace one but because it was like lotion and body wash i typically don't use those things so it wasn't oh, worth it for me you're too young to be wearing grown folks fragrances, little one. When you hit 15, when you hit 15, we can talk, right? So yeah, so I decided to get those ex, to spend the extra dollars for the gift set wasn't worth it for me if I wasn't going to use the product, so I didn't do it. But this was like two fragrances. I was like, yes, I can carry one in my purge, my purse. And when I got my fragrances, she honestly gave me another mini one of these that I already had, a bunch of other fragrances. So I'm gonna try to use those first. Potentially before I open these bad boys, but we'll see how it goes. Yes, boo. Why did you say perch? Purse, perch. I don't know. I don't know. She's still trying to correct my English, but it's too early, too late for that. Then, going into actual cosmetics and skincare. Let's start off with the skincare. Um, I had to buy my daughter a new Tangled teaser for her Christmas present because the one I bought her wasn't the right one. And she wanted the thick and curly. Was it the thick and curly? Well, on Sephora it says thick and wavy, but on the actual side it's called thick and curly. Okay, so on the Sephora side it's the thick and wavy one, and that's what she had originally wanted for her hair because she has like some long, flowing locks. She's like Goldie Rapunzel. She's like Black Girl Rapunzel, okay? <coughs> and because they were doing like, if you spent over $25, you got a deluxe size sample of the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. So I wanted to do that. So I had bought, whatever did I buy? I bought something else and I got in one and I was like, oh, let me get another one because I really want to be trying out new foundations. So see, I mentioned the foundation. Let me just bring them up real quick. But I got two samples of the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in New Caledonia, New Caledonia. And let me see if I can show you what one of them looks like. It's like this color. You know, ooh, I was like, almost dropped that. It's like this color. So I think that I can make that work, you know. Like, I've, I've liked Menard's New foundation. New Caledonia. New Caledonia, sorry. She's the one that speaks proper English. <coughs> so I got two of the little um, 0.13 fluid ounces. So I'm going to definitely try those out and see if it's worth the foundation because... Not that I need any more foundation, but you know, 
when I'm back, finally back on the market of buying things, I might need to buy a new foundation. <coughs> so that's what I got in so I could get that, right? So I purchased some sheet masks from Sephora Collection. I got the grape, <coughs> the grape face mask, which is for protecting and anti-pollution. I got another one of the aloe vera face masks. I got, I really like the pineapple one, so I got another pineapple one, which is the pore perfecting and smoothing. I got the lychee face mask, which is ultra moisturizing and brightening. And even though I have oily combination skin, because I've been so sick, honestly, my skin has been super dry and like irritated, like all mess, not really oily, but you know, no, 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 like trying to like live life. And then I picked up, I say no, no, no a lot, guys. It's just a thing. It's, you're just gonna have to get used to it. And then I picked up two of the pore perfecting and smoothing pineapple nose masks because I like those too. Then into other skincare, Shoppers Drug Mart now carries Glam Glow. If y'all didn't know, I think they started carrying it in store in like October ish, but they've been carrying it online since like end of summer, which is amazing because honestly, like I keep saying, I like Sephora and all, but I love going to shoppers to get my stuff I can get from them because I want to be able to redeem points for actual money off my product and not off like little point perks because I never bought, they never had point perks that I want at Sephora. Like usually I use my point perks for like mascara because I really don't want to buy like no $34 Marc Jacobs Velvet Newer Mascara because that's my favorite. But they had the Glam Glow Glitter Mask Gravity Firming Treatment. It lifts, firms, and tightens tone and sexy contours. I just want my skin to say tight, you know, pores tight, you know, keep everything looking tight and nice. So it's this one. It's very similar to like the My Little Pony ones that was at Sephora that was exclusive. This is limited edition. So I was like, I will give it a try. Cause the peel off mask and it says, allow to fully dry before move, removing. So I'm super excited for that. I will definitely have it on my Snapchat stories and my Instagram stories. If you ever follow me on that or in my Instagram post, because that's what I need. And then honestly guys, hands down my favorite sheet mask of all time right now is the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Oxidating Deep Cleansing Mask. It honestly, it has a green tea leaf tea oxide, which brings up any impurity. So if you were going to have like a pimple and you could feel it coming but it wasn't there, this will bring it up within two days. I put it on one time, didn't realize I had a pimple coming, and I woke up the next day. By the end of the day, I had this big white head and it was gross and I popped it because I'm a pimple popper yeah I know you're not to pop pimples but it gives me so much joy to do it so I do it so I bought a few because I tr I'm trying to use them like once or twice a week depending on the week like that was the goal and seeing their $12 and the day I was buying it was like 20 times of points at shoppers I bought one two three four five six seven eight nine that's not a few a few that's like that will hold me at least a month and a half if i need to re-up right in between using my other masks right now moving into hmm let's do eyelashes so i bought this a couple months ago and i honestly never showed you guys i'm yeah because we were in my car for the longest while but i picked up a pair of velour lashes at Shoppers Drug Mart. Not all Shoppers Drug Mart carry. Select boutiques carry them. But I grabbed one. I was like, yeah, I like velour lashes. You know, I want to try their mink lashes. Okay. These lashes are in Dark Side. Look how dramatic these lashes are. Yes, baby? Does she have more lashes in the room? Shh. She, oh, you should grab those for mommy. Go grab those for mommy. Because I've never shown you guys these lashes either. So she actually is like, like coming in clutch right now. But yeah, these lashes are super like fluffy. And I'm like super excited. 
I'm gonna have to wait until I get back on putting on lashes properly so I don't jack these bad boys up. But they are so fun. These would be like perfect for like a date night, glam night. Depending on the kind of man you have, he might not like it for date night, but is that important though? And then the lashes she's talking about are Pink Orchid Studio. And with these lashes, you can't get them in Shoppers Drug Mart in Alberta, but a few in like BC carry it because like a girl out there that makes them. But you can get them in some salons out here and you can order them online. I haven't even gotten that far. I'm trying to unpackage it. Sorry, she's trying to be like on, on top of these. Let me get them out. Oh, hold on. Thank you. So one is Bay. These are mink lashes, by the way, if I didn't already say that. So these ones are Bay. Look at those. These are stunning. And shout out to my homegirl Jasmine for like letting me know about these. Uh, I can't wait. She's gonna laugh when she sees this video because we got these months ago. Like, I mean like April and I just never showed you guys. And seeing she mentioned them, me showing you them. And these ones are Girl Next Door. Looking like that. Look at those. Those are so stunning. And you know, like every look I do, I honestly have to put lashes on. And if they're not dramatic, it's like the look wasn't complete. But you know, I've like learned to wear natural lashes because I own a lot. But they're like, oh, they're so natural and boring. What am I gonna do with them? Then I grabbed. So Stila did me dirty. And I thank God I used my points at Shoppers to get these because honestly, I didn't need any more of these Stila Shimmer and Glows liquid eyeshadows. But they came up with like a new collection that was like all deep and satiny like and the colors were so vibrant and I couldn't resist. You never use vibrant colors though. Shush, 2019 is a new year. I will use vibrant colors, okay? Guys, hold me to it. I'll use some vibrant colors. So the first one is Vivid Amethyst. And you all know how I feel about purple. Look at that. Ugh, life changing, okay? okay? Everything I buy is life changing at this point. But we're not going to talk about that. Aren't you supposed to swatch it? No, I do not swatch things. If you swatch it, it goes bad. But I will use these things in the new year, guys. Like, well, this year. Then I got... I'm trying to open these. I forgot to open them first. Smoky Quartz. Which is this one, which will be like a nice taupey, bronze off kind of color. It'll be like a nice, pretty, smoky eye, you know. Then I got Vivid Garnet, which was honestly my one. I was like, I need to have. I don't care what I need to do. I gotta sell a kidney. It's gotta be mine, kind of jazz. When I first saw them come out, it is this one right here. Look how beautiful that is. Like, honestly, everything is beautiful at this point when I say anything. Y'all be like, should they say you're crazy? Then this one is pretty too, though. This is Vivid Jade. And I am not the hugest green person, but when I saw this, I was like, It's not oh. green, it's emerald. Okay, green emerald, guys. You know, what, like, look at that beautiful emerald green shade, mm. okay? Look at it. That would be the most stunning, like, smoky eye spot. I... Ugh. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna film a video with it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's my goal. And okay, she's gonna be like, this is not blue. Sapphire. Okay, but this is vivid sapphire. And tell me that is not breathtaking. You're shaking the camera, baby. Look how breathtaking that is. Like, ugh. life changing, guys. These are life changing products. Honestly, life changing. Then the last one from the collection, which I almost didn't get, and I was like, oh, like, it's whatever, like, I don't need it, but I was like, I'm already getting the other five. Why not? Right? And this is the Vivid Laber Labernite, what does that say, baby? Lab Labradorite. Lab okay, whatever my daughter just said. 
There you go. Labradorite. Whatever she said. Labradorite or Labradorite? Labradorite. Labradorite. She's a smart one. She can pronounce words. Y'all know I can't do it for nothing. But it looks like a nice little bit gunmetal. Hold on. There we go. I don't wear silver or black either. She's just like baiting up my scene today, you guys. Like, what is this? She's supposed to be on my side and be like, yeah, my mom will wear that. No, she's like, hmm, she ain't gonna wear that. Ain't gonna sit there and collect us like everything else. But there's so many already. Yeah, and then, okay. I don't like eyeshadows, y'all know this, but. Why? I don't like eyeshadows, guys, because it's a lot of work. I used to like buying a lot of single shadows, but then they're so hard to think. And I like buying palettes because they're pretty and they're the color combinations are thing. But the thing about wearing eyeshadow on a daily, it's a lot of effort. I need to be the right mindset to be putting on all this eyeshadow. But for 2019, I was doing more eyeshadow looks, you know, tutorials, you know, utilizing the products I have because I can't buy anymore. And this will probably be the last haul you see from me, minus my boxy chart unboxings. So Urban Decay came out with many of those Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes. This one is the detour one. And, fu okay, so and funny story, like I wasn't, this wasn't the one supposed to be for me because I was getting it for my friend. But because I nicked it, I didn't want to give her a nicked one. So I'm going to keep it and just get a rebuy her the other one, the same one. But this is it. This is the detour one. And honestly, I wanted it. So it's not like I wouldn't have gotten it, you know, but I was trying to be a good person and not get anything. So I nicked the color plunge, which is what I'm most excited about in this palette. And Switchback is like one of those like reflective duochrome, like shifting kind of shadows. And then iridescent. Iridescent, sorry. She knows all the words. She's only nine guys. Maybe she should do I my like next video. A lot. And I got and it got root. Detour, sorry. Detour. Which made me think of Max un 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 uninterrupted. Is that what it was? That one that everyone liked, and it was like a Mac Pro shot uh the Pro Eye Shadow, and then they discontinued and it was like all in arms about it. That's what it makes me think of, if that's the right shade. It's probably not because I never owned that one and never even wanted it, so I don't know. And then this one is Shortcut. I like that one better. See, this is the one I originally wanted. Like, I want them all, but I didn't get the third one because at that point, it's gonna be excessive if I get that too, but I can't. My no buy has started. But they're permanent, so maybe. Like for my birthday, someone will gift me it, you know, or give me money to get it. I'll buy it for you if you're good. Oh well, look, she says she'll buy it for me if I'm good. And so we both know that's not gonna happen though, because I suck at not buying makeup. At not not buying makeup. But this is the shortcut palette. It's more like the purpley one. And y'all know how I feel about purples, but oh my god, look at this, look at it. It's so pretty, and I feel like these are such nice sizes, like if you were traveling and you were like going away for like two days, you know, you, so you don't have to bring like a really big palette, but you can make a couple looks. I'm really about the... Zone? Yeah, I am about Zone and Gash. Those two colors, beautiful. The same ones I like. <laughs> oh, Zone is a transformer, and so was Switchback, so they're transformer shades. So I guess they're like toppers, we'll see. This is on the back of the box, guys. Transformers. That's also directed to my daughter. I'll play after. I'll play after. And then another Urban Decay palette I got was the Elements Elements Eyeshadow Palette. And I wasn't planning to get this by any means, guys. Honestly, I wasn't. I like the packaging because it's hot. But the packaging was so pretty. Like, how was I supposed to resist? Because it's hot. See, see, she's, look at it. Look at this packaging, guys. And now it's rainbow. <laughs> look at it. Look at it. And I like that it has a little button you have to push to open it. Because it makes it, like, easier to go in. But the mirror is great. Like, it's a nice size worth of shadows. I think I'm really about the greens in this palette right there. You can wear vibrant colors. <laughs> and the blues right here. Bless me. Sneeze properly. I couldn't. That was gonna be everywhere. I'm not allowed to sneeze, guys, because I had like, like some nose issues and all that jazz. Then follow the directions. Grandma gave you. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not supposed to sneeze, and I can't sneeze outward. It's just not a thing I can do. So I sneeze like in, and it hurts everything. But well, that's whatever. 
And then I got a pure Be Your Sophie eyeshadow palette. Like that. And I got it because if you saw that one boxy charm box where we had that pure palette recently and it's like the masquerade one, this is a part of that collection, do you know what I mean? Where they have certain things that go to certain locations. So that's a part of this location because they had other stuff that had that same packaging and it kind of all ties in. And it's a really pretty neutral eyeshadow palette. Look at that. That's a very pretty, like, everyday kind of thing. You can get some, like, beautiful looks out of it. So I grabbed that. Didn't really need it, but I grabbed it anyways. Two last eyeshadow palettes and I'm done. So Sephora so had one of their 20% off days, right? And I grabbed some things. Actually, I grabbed one thing because I was like, I'm going to be good and not get too many things that I don't need and won't use. Sorry. Running those. But I picked up the Anastasia Sultry palette. Y'all should be surprised at this point. Like, I honestly think I've bought an every Anastasia palette that has come out since they've been at Sephora. When I started working at Sephora, minus the Subculture palette and the Prism. I honestly could still get Subculture. And I really wish I'd gotten Prism, but I didn't. I was trying to be good. Regret it a lot. And oh my god, this video is so long. I apologize, guys. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I promise. Well, this is the packaging. It's very pretty. But I honestly mainly got it for one shade. That sounds ridiculous. But it's the most beautiful shade ever been made. And I had nothing like it in my collection. I might now see I got the Julius palette. But this was before. But I honestly got it for the color Bloom. Look how pretty that is. But it's a very pretty neutral kind of palette. You can get some smoky eyes out of that everyday looks. Why does it look like a blush? I know. It's a beautiful color, right? And then, I kind of don't like that, like, the sparkles fall off. That's going to, like, get everywhere, you know? Then, another time, Sephora had, like, the $25, no, the $20 off a of $75 purchase, which was ridiculous because last year it was $25 off a of $50 purchase. Sorry, my nose is running, but I can't help it because it just does what it wants. And then I got the Huda Beauty Nude, New Nude Palette. I only got it to finish the collection because I have the other two, and I was like, yeah, let it be. So that is that. It's a very pretty, like, muted, mauve tone kind of palette. Like that. I'm kind of, like, really enticed by these glimmer shadows. Right? Those ones. But the thing is, my nails are so long, so I hope I can use them with a brush because Fantasy looks so pretty there, and so does Crave. I'm like excited about those ones. I'm definitely gonna do the, a look with those because I do really like my uh, my Huda Beauty palettes. Every one that I've tried so far, well, the other two. I almost bought the Obsessions Coral palette because on sale at Sephora, but I was like, you know, that or Juvia's Place and Juvia's Place one out. If you haven't seen that video yet, it will be. Sorry, the camera cut off because it got a little over the time. So I'll say, if you haven't seen my Juvia's Place haul, It'll be linked down below for your watching convenience. Definitely check it out because I was super excited about my purchases. And then I got the Anastasia and Breezy highlighter. When this originally came out, I was like, I'm not getting it. I don't need another highlighter. No, 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 no. Didn't get it. And it was sold out. And then it was gone. And I was so crushed. And I was like, no. Why did I get it? All the reviews. I needed it. And then... For Christmas, it was like, oh, she's going to bring it back for the holidays, limited quantities. I was like, I don't care. I'm going to get it. I'll sell a kidney. Well, I wasn't going to, but I was like, I'm going to get it. But look how pretty the packaging is. Like, pretty and black and sleek. Yeah, it was gold. And I was so excited when I got it. When I was trying to open it, I nicked it with my nail. But it has such a beautiful color. Like, it is gorgeous. It's going to be like a great everyday highlight. Just because she re re requested it. I must watch it. So, that's it right there. And, bam. Look at that. Uh -huh. Is it, this real gold, this gold that it looks? Look how beautiful that is. It's going oh, to give you everything. Everything in life. So now I have to use it soon. Well, I'm going to use it because I bought it. But, you know, at least it does. And then, um, let's do...
It sucks being sick, guys, by the way. And then, okay, this was the best purchase that I have purchased. Oh, yeah. This was at Shoppers Drug Mart. I know so, no Sephora was carrying that, like that Desi Perkins one, but this honestly was $79, okay? You get five. Let me say that again. Five full-size products. Value of $160? Yes, it was a value of $160. So in it, because of this cute little box. Oh, the brow pencil that you were looking for is in there. Yep. So it comes with products I already own, but... Does that mean anything to me? No. So it comes with a... I got my box in the shade number 5 because I quite like it. I did my brows today with the Precisely My Brow in number 3 because I already owned that because I went to a training and I got that as like gratis. So that's what I filled my brows in today. So it could later like, like every day like muted not to like Instagram kind of vibe. But this one comes with a number five goof proof which is what I typically use on my brows so it's t nice that I have a new one it comes with a watch me break a nail today guys another price slicely my brow these are $32 each Canadian so so for $79 this was a steal so that's the precisely my brow right there then it came with a full size of the Cabrow, which is their cream gel brow product. So, it looks like a nail polish. Yes, it sure does. So, that's what it looks like. It's a palm made. When I worked at Sephora when this first came out, if I want to say this, how long it's been out, or right before I left, I don't know. I liked it because it didn't dry out as quickly as a dip brow. And it comes with a nice brush on the end, which is pretty neat. Like, you know, so if you're traveling and you want to be like minimalist and you don't want to bring everything with you it also came with a full-size brush so it has a spoolie on one end and the brow on this end which is pretty nice I've never owned like a benefit brush product it came with the foolproof brow powder which was like originally called the brow zing I think it was so it has the two shades and a little mini brush and it does have a mirror on it which is pretty nice and it does come with yeah um gimme brow plus what they revamped because somebody not seeing who or what country they're from the states um did it come out yes okay um put it on their eyelashes and got like an eye effect like irritated their eyes but it's for your brows, so I wouldn't know why you put on your lashes. It wasn't multi-purpose. But they reformulated it so you can put on your brows and your lashes and brows and your lashes and not have any problems. And I love that. I've used it before, loved it. Oh, we can take that. And then look at oh. no, my, it says my heat is too high. Sorry, my camera's overheating, so I got like 30, like three minutes to fill the rest. So as I was saying, I got another brow pencil. Like I keep saying, I buy things and I just leave them in my car. Like, because I buy little single items. And I bought the Stila Stale Day Waterproof Brow Color in medium. It's like a, like a pencil, like a marker. So I wanted to get that to fill in like my brow ends when I'm trying to do like a natural everyday look. Medium's very like natural looking, like not too heavy like Instagram brow. Because, homegirl, what if I mess up? I'm not trying to walk around with like sharpie brows, you know? That ain't cute. Well, not cute. Never was cute. Probably will never be cute. Right? Then the last things I picked up are lip stuff. And then I'm done. No more hauling from Shalicia. Might as well oxycharm. Yeah, that's how it's going to be. I picked up a Huda Beauty, like, lip set. I got one last year, which was with Trophy Wipe, which is surprising. It's right here along with the lip strobe in Shameless and the lip pencil. Isn't the Shameless one doing that thing Hopefully not. And it came with a lip pencil. Oh, I don't know where it is. I thought I had it. I 
saw it yesterday. In a lip pencil, some lip pencil. Lip pencil, I think it was like in trophy wife or something. I don't know, I can't remember. But it was something. I don't know what I did with it, but it was something, guys. But it was something. Really nice formula, and I was like, oh, it's like the holiday one, you know, let me get it. And it was a really cute red tin. I still have my tin from last year, which I'm probably going to throw out this week because who really needs it? If this is honestly, oh my god, it's another shameless. I'm so sad. It's another shameless. Told ya. For the lip strobe. And then the lipstick, though, is Heartbreaker, which is a red. And then the lip pencil, which is tall and beautiful, is in Heartbreaker as well, which is like the really nice red. So I'm really excited about that. This would be like the perfect lip color for like valentine's day so i might do a valentine's day look with that and throw on it some mint lashes is it kind of a good thing to get another shameless so if you run out of that one you have another one yes if i used it regularly it would be a good thing but i don't really use it regularly enough but maybe i will now be seeing i have two you never know and then anastasia was having like buy one get one free and honestly i thought it was only on the website so i didn't even look into it and then randomly i went to sephora and it was there. You have to split this into two parts. Nope, it's done now. And I got Malt, which is the top one, which is like a nice chocolate brown. And the bottom one is Madison, which is a nice vibrant, like, magenta Wait. pink. So, yeah, that is my haul, guys. That's all I got. That's all I did. That's all the damage I've done. I will definitely be back in the future with some tutorials. So, definitely subscribe if you haven't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Follow me on all of my social media. It will be listed down below. And I'll see y'all in another video real soon. Bye, y'all. You didn't stop it, silly goose.